At Mervac, we are also focused on the quality of the product that we are delivering for our customers, their homes. It's important to us that we achieve our vision of having a positive impact by generating more water and energy and finding ways to capture and reduce waste. That means we want to work with people who understand about that lasting impact and about how the quality of our products flows from the design to construction to whole of life performance. Our vision also looks at the lowering of long-term costs, ease of adaptation to new technologies, increased occupant comfort and productivity at all the systems, technology and tools to achieve this. So Mervac can develop affordable master plan communities in the future, we've started developing the first House With No Bills in Melbourne. The House With No Bills is an innovative initiative forming part of Mervac's sustainability strategy that aims to drive a more sustainable future for Australians and which focuses on not only reducing environmental impact but the social impacts of what we build. As part of this vision, Mervac is building a home at our $130 million Jack Road development in Cheltenham, Victoria to demonstrate the first phase of the project which is to deliver a home without energy or gas bills. The home will look, feel and operate the same as a typical home but it has been designed to reduce its reliance on electricity to the point it will not generate any electricity bills with methods including increased roof insulation and the installation of solar PV panels and batteries, the use of LED lighting, energy efficient appliances and smart metering and monitoring for systems which will assist homeowners in keeping an accurate record of where and how their energy is being used. The first house with no bills will be home to a key worker family of four over a 12 month period and Mervac will use a long range study to follow energy use within the home to uncover how average families consume energy and how the house design and associated sustainable technology performs. By gathering data on the trial family's everyday energy consumption, it will shed light on how to best roll out this home model on a wider scale. We examine all of our designs closely to ensure a great product for our customers and to reduce environmental impacts during the whole lifetime of the building. It's really important to Mervac that any substitutions that are made deliver the same quality to our customers and do not shift environmental impacts from one area to the other. Projects where we use prefabricated building panels or the house with no bills show the level of thinking and of care that goes into making sure that the design and construction of each project will result in comfortable, energy efficient homes. There are a lot of things that you can do to ensure that what is designed actually gets built. Some of them are small things, some of them are bigger. You can make an effort to understand the designs and if there's something you don't understand or something that may end up being a problem, ask. Talk with your colleagues and team members about the importance of not substituting materials, products or design elements. If something has been specified, it's there for a reason. Try to remember that most elements of a home are connected in ways you may not be able to see. An extra few centimetres of insulation might be the difference between comfortable and unbearable on a scorching day because the ventilation system can no longer cope or changing one type of fitting for another because you happen to have some leftover from another job and it's way cheaper. That may mean that another design element might not work at all further down the track. Saving a few dollars up front by changing one product for another or just forgetting to install something that may never be seen might cost you thousands of dollars down the track when your boss or your client or the independent checker finds out what you've done and insists it's installed or made good. Make sure there's a system of checks and balances or ways of double checking quality around the site. So if you see someone else making changes or not installing something as designed, there's a safe and friendly way of calling them out on it. After all, better you do something properly the first time than get a call back to do a job again and again, losing money, hours and reputation each time you do. Get a great reputation with designers, architects, main contractors and homeowners for building homes that are comfortable, energy efficient and look good and perform as designed. I've worked on designing passive house projects, ones that follow the rigorous voluntary standard for energy efficiency in building, reducing ecological footprint, resulting in ultra low energy buildings that require little energy or for space heating and cooling. 
tradespeople have been incredibly proud and extremely competitive in what they've achieved in these projects. There's a place in the market for good builders to be able to deliver to the specifications, timeline and budget. Establish lines of communication with the designer to ensure the design intent. Briefing for materials and systems, regular meetings on site or in the office to review any change circumstances. Good communication doesn't just involve the architect, the client and the builder. It should include the procurement and purchasing people as well. Often they have information that others don't and can make suggestions around cost, availability, performance that might actually help improve the project in the short term and the long run. I think some of the biggest barriers to energy efficiency use in the home is actually our own personal knowledge. A lot of us actually aren't aware of some of the activities or some of the um, practices that we do in the house. I love my house. Um, so 40 square meter house is my current house, but the planet is my another house. From the passive design thing, I have learned to, um, I learned that you can use energy um, without using a lot of auxiliary power, using naturally. So I'm very much interested that, well, if I can use energy efficiently, naturally, that helpful for the environment, also helpful for our budget, energy price is going up, so it savings our um, money as well.